I've put a nice round hole in it. They're both metal. Not a good idea. Yeah, I might need these. Got myself a shock free switch. Yes, power's back on. They look pretty disturbing, and triangular, most of them. I'm not touching them. I want to operate it so bad. And you shall breathe true life! Who... True life? Was it dead to begin with? It's littered with discarded pages full of gibberish, or code. As tempting as it is, I'll pass. Worms! Worms! Fly!
Nothing on the cover but a triangle. This better not be written in gibberish. Step out from the telling the story's lines. Rest, friend. It quickly cycles through some biological imagery. No idea how to use this. A painting of a wing, stylistically very similar to the central piece. Can't make heads or tails of these letters. They're no use to me. No use. This must be the butcher's desk. The perfect triangle to triangle. Work! As tempting as it is, I'll pass. Rest, friend. No apparent sign of use, but could be you just cleaned him real well. I'm not touching him. No need. This won't hurt a bit, little worm. It's a stylized painting of a human head. No apparent way of directly interacting with it. My contribution. I don't feel good about this. Every single flap one of my doing, my desire. I don't feel good about this. His father tells you, little one. No idea how to use this. It quickly cycles through some biological imagery.
Little puppets of flesh in the Shiva. Step out from the tongue the story's lies. It's a small piece of ripped cloth caught on the edge here. I really don't need it. Maybe just its story. Idiot! Left toward the bay, right toward the EOD! Get it through your thick skull! Idiot! Left toward the bay, right toward the EOD! Get it through your thick skull! Take it down! Idiot! Left 
toward the bay, right toward the EOD. Get it through your thick skull. And what did we do? Trusted the Butcher, put our faith in the Carnifex, double-crossed by that... that freak! Denying the Dreamer his meal, running away with it. That was his payment for our stupid, misplaced loyalty. How do you think this looks like in the eyes of Father Dagon, huh? And I tell you right now, it is as clear as pure seawater to me that the starry knowledge was always behind that lunatic. I know some of you do not see the starry fools as a threat. Ha! You think me mad? You think I am making this up? This very night, a false preacher was spouting blasphemies about Mother Hydra and Father Dagon right outside the Finman house. Good thing a true believer cast the first stone. Well, egg. And the crowd swiftly dealt with the poisonous snake. B -b but it happened. Truly it has happened in our fishmouth during our festival. Kooky, freakish cultists. I can't throw the I hunter's mark that you, far. Brethren, these insidious story knowledge maggots know no shame, and be not fooled, they have infiltrated our ranks. I don't want them to know I'm here. Look at those idiots. I am shaking. I don't want them to know I'm here. Fear, brothers. I can't throw the haunter's mark that far. I, I don't want them to know I'm here. They may be in our midst right now. Can't throw the hunt. Yes, yes, believe I it. I don't want. I can't throw the. I can't throw. Kooky, freakish cult. Look what at those. What have we done, brothers? Kooky, fr Look at those idiots. Kooky, freakish cultists. The crustaceans. What? Why, of course I would do it myself. I'm not touching them. Got myself a pocket full of pebbles. They're fun to throw around. Repent. Repent in the face of Father Dagon. Son of a nebula. Huh? That's strange. All that prey, 
All the blood and sweat and tears we put Son into the front wasted on a liar. Suffering squids. Ah. Stinking stingrays. Stars fall on you. Stars? I thought these guys were all about fish. Sacrifices? Yes. Sacrifices will be they necessary. Yes. yes. How did we even trust him with a moniker like that? Barracuda breath. Living London fresh. I am shaking. Shaking with I fear, brothers. Curse you. Huh? Hunter. Enough of this masquerade! I knew it! Treason! There is but one true god, you fish-loving heathens! And his name is the Hunter! How dare you speak that name in the house of Dagon! You broke into our temple and stole the Dramosahedron! Now you're going to pay! We'll feed you to the fish! Give us the book! Now you give us the book! Oh my god, little kid! Wh what are you doing? As Rome burned and Nero watched and fiddled, so too we witnessed the fish take vengeance on the fishermen. Not sure it's the right comparison, Mr. Bizarra. I'm just worried about the kid. No need, Gramps. I'm well and happy. No one's hurting the fishies anymore. And their bellies are nice and full now. You really shouldn't have witnessed that. Except you sort of made it happen. Well, it's all over now, Grandpa. Look. Water's draining, and the fishies are returning home! A perfect ending of the festival for everyone. Hooray! <sighs> Don't call me Grandpa. <laughs> Okie doke, I'll be on my way. Before Mom and Dad and Grandma notice that I'm missing. It's been fun! See you around! Take care, kid. Crazy world we live in, huh, Mr. Basara? Thank you for your business, by the way. I sincerely don't know whether thanks are in order. I... I'm more confused with each passing hour, but my resolve grows stronger. So, what are you doing in this building of all places? Keeping tabs on the esoteric order? Looking for Olmstein? Sightseeing? You might joke about the sightseeing, but that is part of why I'm here. All across this accursed world, the storm rages ever more powerful, and I strongly expect some kind of... some kind of sign soon. What sign? And why here of all places? Maybe a reason for a bell to ring through a terrible storm. News sure does travel fast. This is the highest steeple in Fishmouth. 
with the grandest, most resonant bell in miles. This is where I'll wait for a sign for as long as it takes. And awaken the beast? How do we know that's a good thing? We don't, but it is written, so it shall come to be. This could be the start of a fascinating philosophical debate. If only we had time. I need answers. I need to know what the hell's going on here. Ask. Help us find and stop this butcher, Barnabas. Carnifex Cerebralis. What did you find out from scouring Fishmoth in its festival hours, Seeker? The butcher was definitely in cahoots with... The Esoteric Order of Dagon. I'm convinced he used them to raise some kind of sea creature, codenamed MCHK. The Half Gufa. And what of its purpose? The Meal. That's what they called it. These EOD kooks thought they were raising the sea monster as an edible tribute to Dagon. They trusted the Butcher. Huh. He obviously took his meal, this MCHK, whatever it is, and, and escaped. Question is, where'd he go? Any ideas? Not exactly, but keep this in mind. Olmstein always watches, and always leaves something behind to push you in the right direction. Well, ain't that nice of him. There is this sign that's associated with Olmstein. Tell me what you think it means. Could be the visual representation of a formula, a constellation, could be a map. Hmm, thanks. I'll give it some thought. I've come across terrible things in the Butcher's pits. What were they? It is clear to me that Fishmoth holds more secrets than can be dug at in this small window of time we have, and time is not on our side. Not since we found that damn Necronomicon. Some use it to spawn horrible monsters. Some to make cats speak. Some might say it's the same thing. How do we fix that? What Olmstein allowed, Olmstein can undo. Find the enemy, thwart his plans, and Olmstein will reward you. I wish I had your confidence, Barnabas. I don't have time for this. I've got to go. I got to meet Buzz and Peace and try to put the pieces together. The other guide you. Do your best to find out where the butcher is headed and put an end to his plans, whatever they are. I will stay here and wait for a sign. See ya, Barney. Don't call me that. Hey, kids. He's back! Nice place you've got here, Don! Glad to see you made it all right, buddy. Scared the living daylights out of us. No offense, dude. None taken! Yeah, Fishmouth was interesting. Met your dad finally, Peace. Oh, yeah? Is he all right? He's good. He's in a steeple, waiting for a sign. Sounds like dad. Can we please skip the niceties and put our heads together? Right. I made my way into the butcher's laboratory. Ah! Sorry! Bad flashback! Would you please excuse me? Sure thing, Otis. Go get some rest. The butcher. He wasn't still there, was he? I just missed him. What did you find that could be relevant? MCHK seemed to be an important acronym. What's that about? I've got a theory. MC might stand for... Massive creature? I mean, that's what it supposedly is. As for HK... Half Goofa King? Massive creature, half Goofa King. Ah, I might be very wrong on that. Either way, he apparently used the cult to get the monster bred and fed, and then ran away with it to who knows where. The half goofa. What? What will he do with it? 
huge biological weapon under your control. I can think of a number of things. Oh boy. We need to get this guy. That's great and all, but you know, my problem? Remember what this is really all about? The Butcher and Olmstein? There's a connection there. We gotta stop always being one step behind them. The festival. Fishmouth really knows how to party. What I can say for sure is that the Esoteric Order's been brought down a few notches. And so is the Starry Knowledge Cult. Nice going, man! Wasn't me who did it. It was a short, weird little girl who really loves her fishies. That actually makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Other than that, I'm afraid Fishmouth and its creepy inhabitants remain a mystery. For now. The stabilizing element, Olmstein's constant. What did that say again? A terrible storm and three bells ringing throughout its shell. Awaken the beast. What are your thoughts on it? No idea. Seriously, I'd uh, rather not even speculate. This is way too arcane for me. Now is not the time to be cautious, Dawn. Not even when it's just theories. Oh yeah? What do you make of it? I stand by my conviction. Just like the Necronomicon, this is all just ever-changing chaos. So Olmstein wrote the ending down and set it in stone. Wrote the ending? What does that even mean? He is not like us. Can't you grasp the concept of divinity? If he wrote it down, it will happen. Oh, man. Where are we on Olmstein's sign? I'm stumped. What do you think it could be? Uh, constellation? See, that was the first thing we thought of, but it doesn't match any known stars. Still feels like something viewed from above. Wait, I have an idea. Hand over that mouse buzz. Maybe it's a map. There was a bell in Paris. There was a bell in Fort Maris. Dawn, you said my dad's in a steeple in Fishmouth. There's a bell there too. What do you know? It's Point Nemo! Point what? Earth's pole of inaccessibility. It's the one point in the ocean that's farthest from any land. There should be nothing there. Hmm. Maybe look it up in uh, recent news on that, uh, uh, the, th the thing there. Looking it up on the thing. Okay, what I'm finding are crazy conspiracy theories about expeditions to Point Nemo going back more than a century. Anything remotely recent? Decades ago, a ship called the Alert, rumored to be carrying a huge cargo of explosives, 
never returned, apparently. Sounds, uh, encouraging. So we've got three bells, plus Point Nemo. That's got to be it. We're going, right? Hold your horses, buddy. Say we go there. What do we do about the bells? I can get a hold of Vlad. I can find a way to reach Dad. I got Serge eating out of my palm, so I'm sure we can coordinate. Ring them all at once. We can awaken the beast, but do we want to? Or does that help the butcher? Think about it. If he ran away with it, it means that the butcher's in control of this monster. This beast, right? Just a theory, but these bells might snap the creature out of it. Yeah, three bells ringing thousands of miles away. Completely realistic. No, it makes a lot of sense, and it fits the constant. Let's get in touch with all three of them and tell them to, uh, wait for a sign. We're a creative bunch. We'll come up with something should we need to, right? Preparedness has always been our forte. What do I really have to lose at this point? The end of the world it is. It's just the farthest point from land. Doesn't really end there. It doesn't, huh? Tell me more. This is going to be one long trip. Ladies and gents, it's kinda crazy, but we're really here. As far away from civilization as humanly possible. Not just humanly. Oh, right. Three months worth of rent money says what we're looking for is on the top of that mountain over there. I don't know. Did you see that crazy looking beach? I think our best bet is to split up and- Search for clues? Well, yeah, actually. It might increase our chances of finding this butcher. Peace, how about we take the mountain? Well, Cat, I hope you brought sunblock, cause it's time to hit the beach. Buzz, don't make this worse than it has to be. I'm sorry, I'm, 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 I'm nervous. Nervous? Okay, scared. I'm really, really freaking scared. Let's do this. And whoever finds the butcher first? Actually, I, I don't know. Uh, fingers crossed. Point Nemo. Hopefully, it all ends here, once and for all. Is it me, or does this place seem off somehow? And for some reason, that huge, not-quite-full moon up there is particularly bothersome. Gibbous. What? Gibbous. Almost, but not quite fully revealed. It's what you call that kind of moon. Whatever you say, Madam Scientist. Let's just... Whoa! What? What is this? I don't know, but you look repulsive. What is this? W what have I turned into? You sort of look like discarded deli meat slapped together. No, what? This is not me. You just got transformed, against your will, into something you despise. Sucks, huh? I'm an abomination, kitty. But I didn't even do anything. Oh god. Oh no. Do you think this is permanent? Apparently not. Oh! Oh, what now? What do I look like now? Um, basic? Blocky? Everything is squares! I'm squares! Ah! Whoa. Yeah, I kind of prefer the previous look, to be honest. What fresh hell? What even am I? Some kind of... Um... Uh, you're like, um... Uh... I give up. I feel a panic attack coming. This place is really doing a number on you. Wait! I'm back! Oh, praise the infinite universe, I am back! That was scary as... I hate to be the ever-cynical one, but I have a bad feeling. I think it's... What? It's cyclical. No, no, no! 
The bad news is, you seem to keep transforming. The good news, it's only happening to you. What can we do, Kid A? Suck it up and press on, Kerwin. <sighs> You're right. Let's keep going. <sighs>